Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mizora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. It's over. It's truly over. The parasite, it's withered, dead along with the Netherbrain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geich. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable, and I'm grateful for it. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But first, Lazel. I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. Okay, we could actually... We could actually persuade her to stay stay off her own, but yeah, we know that that's that's her story. You can you can raise she she can raise the people of and beat the black. It's your choice to make laser not mine. I trusted it to you. So the third option is yes, yes, right. All my life, I've traveled in its slipstream, not once questioning its path. In its service, I came here, and now... I will carry your hope, Prince Orpheus, and I will carry your burden. But to that burden, I must add my own. The loss of those I leave behind. Lach crushed, Macvleck. So be it. Now, give me my freedom from this form. I wonder why there's hole in her armor. <laughs> okay, that's a strong thrust. Kitka Tavkin crushed. Okay, they, they were his red dragons, okay. I can never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. My Jarak dislike, okay. I wonder what's what's with the with the cutscene. Okay, they don't have a shadow. 
<laughs> they just ride the dragon. Okay. Okay, everyone got to do what they liked. The Githyanki are departing in peace. Curious sight in a day already full of them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Chiontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. Uh, but, mm, mm, the power damn. of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Such power is meant for mortal mortals. Need the crown and give it to Mistra like as she has. Sage and timely counsel as always. And I intend to heed it. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction. And I'll finally be free. Deserving one this time around if this adventure has taught me anything is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power You for example You're always wiser than me when it mattered most Besides I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, and I quite like to see what happens to it I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. A nipper dance and a song. Don't mind if I do. I think we're due an evening's reprieve. What's our leader have to say? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of God's Forsaken City. I hear Amn is lovely this time of year. Second, Baldur's Gate 2 ha was set in Amn. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll celebrate the sounds Excellent. perfect. Let's see if the elf song's still standing. Their Golden Sands brew goes down real easy. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the. Ow! What the. Oh, oh no. no. Oh god! Well, it was, it was nice when He's it not Dave Walker anymore. I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. To the shade. A Starian will keep to the dark now, I wager. At least, he'll find plenty to feast on. Yeah. Yeah. We Car did it, soldier. Karlach wasn't cured. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. She went to the lab pier. Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? You were spectacular. So are you. My friend. My companion. I adore you. <sighs> Careful! Hot! I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. That's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live. 
in my city with my friends. But life is for the living. And I saw... Yeah, because her her heart no. just works correctly in Avengers. I can't hang on much longer. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined Le to become its war. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. I'm sure this would be great cutscene, but the buildings haven't loaded. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, soldier, here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zariel's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods, like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. <laughs> well, I'm sure. But then, there was you. This, this reminds me of Planescape uh, Torment's uh, origin out. landing. Just get rid of them. And don't forget... <sighs> you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Yeah, sad thing we we didn't select the path where we could get um, Chahera and Minsk to our party. That would have been really, like really, really cool, but this is. When the invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw, cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned. A familiar comforting voice echoed in your mind. Withers, 
He requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies, those who stood against the Absolute at your side. A reprieve from the Blood War. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Carlac's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus for a few short hours, but it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Okay, what's with her? Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Really? Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Moving in. Now, there's a... Grander than any ah! Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Uh -huh. Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that would be telling, wouldn't it? But believe you me, my friend, not a word could have been written without you. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Nah. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. There you are. So, you came back. <laughs> what? Well... A little singed around the edges, but well, I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again. Not sure where to begin. Uh huh. No, that's a good start. Yes, I think that about sums it up. Gods, I've missed you. I promise I've not been moping around waiting for your return. Though, of course, I longed for it. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. Pleasure to remake your acquaintance. I did offer, as a matter of fact, However, the Black Staff insisted I couldn't teach every subject, nor could the simulacra of myself I offered to create for that purpose. <laughs> so yeah. I've settled for teaching the art Magical of the teaching, teacher. Magic to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all. Imagination. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my, uh... Explosive former reputation I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. sometimes it's good or the fear of Mistra to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her as I told you I would, and in return, she cured me of the orb at last. Even now, I struggled to put the feelings into words. I was like exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. 
Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good. If you are mean to teacher, he will blow I up. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Ah, so you still remember our little lesson. It was quite something to share such a moment with you. Though it vanished all too quickly. You were, of course, indulging me in submitting to such a lesson. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course. And they can manage to stay awake. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? I almost feel sorry for the devils in your path. I mean, I don't. Of course. I'm sure they deserve it. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'll be delighted to introduce you to them when you return. That is, if you wish to return to Faerun. Or to me. When the blood war is over. Well, I'm that's not going that. to be over anytime soon or ever. Comes, hmm, our yeah. home will be ready for you. A crackling hearth, two cozy armchairs beside it, a bottle of wine to be poured, and your battle-worn boots discarded at long last by the door. That is the life we have waiting for us. Believe in it, and it will come. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Little awkward. I love you. Now go on. Before I change my mind. Yep. He, he's got to claim, claim her. But, but. Well, look who decided to turn up. Okay. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you. Straight from the hells. Still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. <laughs> yes, the right person can make just about anything bearable. And it seems like you found exactly the right person. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. Yeah. And apparently I'm rather good at it. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. Yeah. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. I'm still me, after all. I did at first. But then I realized. These shadows. This darkness. It's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew 
You are someone <laughs> special. Yeah. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. Yeah. Okay, uh... Already what was better. with the laser? Past made present. I'm glad... The Hell's Walker returns. For two months I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. I never imagined we'd okay. be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe on this day, in this place. Nothing but allies, I always told myself. A necessary partnership. But in spite of every strained word, every barbed glance, Seeing you brings me even more pleasure than taking a Royal Inquisitor's head. That's a good thing, I can think. A bit. Less solid. <laughs> it's taken a dozen gishes talents, a few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... <sighs> Fay run. We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Zerith Minyaragith. Uh... Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai. An exiled people. Once kin with mine, until the madness of civil okay, war uh, apparently they have several undead, un, un immortal, whatever, kings and queens. He's agreed to parley. Uh -huh. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the comet. I will not oh, rest okay. until I burn yeah. black and bones she, to she, ash she, and she, smash she's now, now to the pieces. comet. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. Yep. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. And to you, always. Now go, mingle a bit. That's the word, right? Mingle. But don't think you've seen the last of me. I'll be back, sure as the comet will rise, sure as Kalir will forever circle the sun. Okay. Your relief, your projection holds. It took a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, uh, and two that's... can touch, taste, and talk. But your fleshy body is in limbo, the home of the mystical Githzerai. The Githzerai god should the Githzerai. What's the word on the rebellion? Okay, that was bugged. I presume you've cracked open more Kithraki heads than you could possibly count. <laughs> then you did keep count. I should have known you would. I'm afraid since we last met, my corpse count remains a paltry zero. Unless you count the boars I felled on ducal hunts. Rebuilding a city requires a politic mind. A sharp soldering blade, not so much. Bargains must be made. Coin must change hands. Tongues must be held in check. Father leaves me to my own devices. Oh, he's got no shortage of advice when I ask for it. That's Still, nice. 
I make the decisions I see fit. And he, he the survived. Ones I think will restore the city the to glory. I serve only Baldur's Gate, not a devil of the first hell. Mm. Father's very well, and back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with as brave a heart as ever. Floric, bless her soul. Okay, she is so alive as well. The lashings and scoldings, though I know he was tempted. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow. That cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I've had more than a few challenges, given the horns sprouting from my head. The people know me as one of the champions who saved their beloved city. They know Raven Guard blood flows through my veins. The Patriarchs, the aristocracy, the councils of Waterdeep and Arm, their arms aren't so wide open. Still, there's no friction that can't be greased with a sly promise or a proposition. Disbanded to be formed anew. I don't expect a soldier or street sweeper to see through the schemes of a tyrant like Gortash, but the city's lords and ladies were all too eager to abandon their oaths and bend the knee. Yep, politics. My father, Alder Ravenguard, is now Grand Duke of the Triad, Keeper of the Fist. Floric is now Grand Duke of the Crossing, the face of devotion. And I am Will Ravenguard, Grand Duke of the Worm, Heart of the Gate. We will yet be four. Until such time and after, we will enact the will of the People's Parliament. Baldur's Gate is nothing without its citizens, both in the upper and lower. Our duty is to them, and only them. The jewel of the coast will shine ever bright, welcoming the weak and the weary from wherever they hail. We are building new housing, not just shanties, but homes where families can rest their heads, plant gardens, pursue happiness. Amazing what can be done when Parliament and the Council pressure the upper city elites to open their coffers. <laughs> I'm sure the Silver Shields can make do without a few more jeweled crowns. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> good song, good company, good wine. I wish it could last forever. Bart. Well, some of the people. That is a paper or something. Where's our goth girl? Okay, this here. Revelry and community on the eve of revolution. Shadow Heart. Retry. <laughs> Retired adventure. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Say that with a straight face after all the times I had to come to your aid. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm, you feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. F 
chilled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. <laughs> I'm glad you see me. Yeah. <sighs> Trudy. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After oh, all, high level characters. bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. Don't be a stranger. Okay, what was that all? Oh shit! Oh my god! He wasn't kidding! Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! Ha! Oh man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone! Look at them, the beauts! Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in... six months? Hear, hear. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. She's got a night in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. You don't need to ask, soldier. Does it cause burns? To have karma. Okay, she's... She's burning with this... Blue... Light. Blue flame is hotter than red, by the way. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I'll want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so, uh... Into your adventure. So, talking to Vitar since the adventure. This one night is like any other, and yet... different. Thou art the saviour of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. Yep, yeah, probably often. How dost thou feel? I can't help but feel some things have been left if undone. If thou could only see the paths of fate untaken, Thy mind would surely break. Be glad of thy chosen path. It is, after all, thine. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? What comes next? Prick up thy ears and listen. The 
balance of the world restored. Okay. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, now heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Okay. <laughs> Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. The greatest friends I could dream of. To you. Okay, <laughs> let's let's uh, think about. Um, I'll I'll give you a few of my ideas. First of all, it was very long wait from me to wait to, for, for, from the first alpha to release of this game, and I kind kind of lost interest in the meanwhile. So when I started to play this, I was like, meh. And the first chapter, it, it felt like one in from the from the alpha, meh. But it, it, it then, then, then it picked up pretty pretty nicely, and I can see where the time went. It went to making uh, different choices. For now, we saw the ending that we didn't have a Chahera, we didn't have a Minsk, we didn't uh, clean up the Shadowlands, and yeah, it's it's nice to have uh, options that go back and play differently. But and this is my biggest gripe. I, I'm I'm trying to be concise here. Bigger scribe. Uh, this is about 100 hours, hours of gameplay, right? It's long, long ro old-fashioned role-playing game. I need to check the how many how many hours it's actually. But yeah, so the, it's it's so long that it takes a, sh a huge amount to go back and do times uh, di uh, things differently, and that's kind of bummer. I more like appreciate the games that take like 40 hours of my time than those who take 100 at times. If you know know my uh, know my drift. So, so let's check the steam here. So basically, if it's 40 hours game, you can play it many times in the same time slot that you play the game once. And that's like when you are adult and you don't have as many time hours to play. It's more cost efficient to have a smaller games. Like, for Mass Effect was the first first game that was titled like one one point five hours movie. Because that's why why there's a um, movie theater version and the video version. One and a half hours, uh, one point five hours is the time that uh, most people can actually use but two three hours way too much okay 130 hours so this was pretty pretty long and I can see that there were some drops out dropouts that the developers didn't fix but as I have heard they have been still fixing the plots and um, because there's like million different kind of uh, optional uh, scenes. Like you can actually recruit Mintrara at the start and and drag her, drag her to the to the to the Ketheric Thorn, and that's that's crazy to have game that has so many huge amount of different choices. So yeah, I like this some scenes where like in the in the end I saw that maybe they were older cutscenes because they had some like being uh, out of focus a bit 
animation problem. So yeah, not not the fault. Uh, not the, this is not the perfect game. It's not a game for the people who wa don't have a time to sit down and use the 100 hours plus hours to uh, get get into the game. And I even I didn't have a time to f uh, think about the meta and think about the spells and uh, look through the, all my inventory and it kept, kept growing up like this. But yeah, I have one big um, thought exercise to determine if the game is good. I mean really good. Would I like to play it after the fact? And yeah, this ending saved a lot. So yes, I would say yes, I would like to play Baldur's Gate 3 again. I would l like to play 140k again, slightly less because it was both games stretch a bit too far in my taste. So that's that's the thing here. So yeah, a pretty long game, a bit too long game. I like the characters, I like, like the writing. It had some brilliant writing and brilliant interpersonal of the um, of the Dungeons and Dragons rules. So D and D has some common rules, and they kind of change the rules. The developers change the rules to their own liking and make the whole thing much better. And I had like really big doubts like like five years ago. If I if you roll the dice. Are you going to ruin the story? That that the biggest problem with the RNG is that it can ruin the experience and the story and the game. XCOM 2 was a good example of, of the, those those games that actually were ruined by the RNG. So yes, I definitely like this, and I can see where the money and <laughs> effort and everything went. So yeah, I ho really hope the Larian Studios will make a se second, second La uh, Baldur's Gate game or fifth. Uh, and yeah, incredible in in all the aspects. Not the bug bug free, but incredible. And w was it worth it to wait five years? Yeah, it, it was. I liked. So um, thank you for watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. I'm going to. I'm going to play uh, in the in the after sauna games. We are going to play Operation Flashpoint Resistance because it it has been like asked. People want to want to watch me playing old old <laughs> FPS shooter games. So that's going to be like uh, in the in the 6 p.m. No, it's actually 7 p.m. So after after 6 p.m. after sauna games. So that's that's going to be like the idea. But anyway, thanks for watching, and this was great. This, this took a lot more time than I initially expected, and yeah, was was drag, dragging on. So yeah, that's that's the, the. But now I have free time to play something else. Yay! So we can we can focus on new games, new and old games. Anyway. I'll, I'll sign off for he, uh, here and continue in after sauna games. Bye. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be. Yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not.
Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.